Rise and shine, friends. It's Heather Ferroni with RaiseToLife.com. You know, I just wanted to share with you um, just the contrite heart that I have um, as God is just convicting me, especially this morning, the idea that to live for Christ means that we must die to ourselves. And I, I really think that that's a principle that we just absolutely tend to just look over and, um, and don't really give a lot of credit to. And I think it's probably more important that we do um, really just discover what it means to die to self. Um, to, to our worldly desires, to the patterns of this world. It says in Romans, um, I think it's 12 too, I think, um, that we must not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but by renewed by the transforming of our minds. And I think it's so easy being in America and having all the luxuries that we do and the technology and the freedoms that we have, um, I think is really almost putting us at a disadvantage in some ways, in a spiritual sense, because we take on so much ownership of things without realizing that God is enabling us or is entrusting us um, by giving us these things on loan because everything in this world is absolutely temporary anyway and we're supposed to store up our treasures in heaven and not just here on earth right I mean we've all heard the term that you can't go to heaven in a pulling a hearse right I get that but like when you look at first century Christians and you look at the martyrdom, you know, the people that were literally dying for the cause of Christ, the people that had to go in hiding, that our ancestors, however, you know, wherever you're from or whatever, you look at like just history and you look at our ancestors and the great lengths that they had to go to in order to uphold the gospel. They were imprisoned, they were enchained, they were um, beaten to death, they were stoned to death. I mean, first century Christians, they weren't able to worship freely anywhere they want to. Here in America, we can. And not only do we take that for granted, um, but we're almost, in a sense, like at a disadvantage because we don't really know what it's like to sacrifice. I mean, let's just be real. And so anytime our conveniences get encroached upon, we throw a temper tantrum like a three-year-old because we think that we know better in how our lives should go than God, right? Um, I think it's easier for us. It's easier for us to have idols in life um, because of our luxuries. It's, it's easy for us to make idols out of that. And anything that, uh, an idol is anything that, um, basically takes a higher position than God, right? Um, we do that without even realizing it. I mean, we could do that with our own kids, you know, um, or our own families, our marriages, or um, our possessions, our job, our bank account, you know? I mean, there's so many different things that we make idols out of thinking that we put our security in those things or we put our security in those people to give us that sense of um, uh, belonging or that sense of, um, security really is what it is and that takes our dependency away from God and God alone and so I know I'm kind of all over the place here today but my heart is just really heavy over the idea that we're so privileged and we're so blessed and we should be thankful for that but we should also realize that being so privileged and and blessed in a sense is giving us a disadvantage and we need to kind of realign and really figure out what it means to die to ourselves so that we could, could truly live for Christ. I hope that you're blessed by this today. I totally want to hear your comments, so please comment below or reach out to me on social media. Let's just keep this conversation going. Make it a blessed day.